Hello, my name is Miwa Satoshi. I'm a research scientist at the Fisheries Technology Institute of Japan Fisheries Research and Education Agency, which is the national research body of fisheries sciences. Our paper describes the identification of a new virus that causes a disease and high mortality in the Akoya pearl oyster. Though I'm one of the co-authors of the paper, most of the key experiments were conducted by the first author, Matsuyama Tomomasa, also at the Fisheries Technology Institute. In Japan, usually diseases of fish and shellfish are diagnosed by local fisheries research laboratories, which belong to local prefectural governments. However, unlike diseases of humans or other mammals, new diseases frequently emerge in aquatic animals. Our laboratory accepts requests of diagnosis for such emerging diseases from those local fisheries laboratories throughout Japan. In the summer of 2019, high mortality in juvenile pearl oysters and severe atrophy of adult oysters occurred, suddenly in most of the major areas of the pearl oyster culture. The disease is called summer atrophy. Pearl culture is an important industry, so this is a serious problem. During that season, we received six requests for diagnosis of pearl oysters from local laboratories of prefectures which have major pearl farming areas. In the cases for adult oysters, the soft body were severely atrophied. Abnormal ridges or dark brown deposits were created on the usually shiny inner surface of the shell, which is so-called the mother of pearl or nacre. Those oysters cannot be used for pearl culture until they have fully recovered. Mortality was very high in juveniles. It was difficult to attribute environmental degradation to the cause of the disease, since environmental conditions such as water temperatures or the occur occurrence of phytoplankton varies place to place, and accordingly we suspected an infectious disease. In the previous paper, we reported that disease is indeed infectious, and the causative agent can go through a 100 nanometer filter, suggesting the disease is caused by a virus. However, the study of the disease was not very easy. One of the reasons is that the disease is acute. Pearl oyster farmers don't observe their oysters daily. So when they notice an occurrence of the disease in juvenile oysters, oftentimes all they see are some surviving oysters and a pile of empty shells. For adult oysters, atrophy remains for a while with a small amount of virus, but the active multiplication of the virus seems to last only a few days so it's difficult to sample diseased oysters with a large amount of virus. Therefore, we collected hemolymph, the body fluid, from some atrophied oysters and injected it to healthy oysters to identify the causative virus from these experimentally infected shells. Since there are no cell lines of bivalves to isolate viruses, we comprehensively sequenced the genes expressed in the infected oysters. Then, the genes that don't match the pearl oyster genome were selected, and we obtained roughly 160,000 gene fragments. Among these, 27 showed similarity to known viral genes. We also obtained a similar set of genes from healthy oysters. By comparing those, we found two genes. These genes were expressed in large amounts and found only in the infected pearl oysters. The sequences of these two genes suggested they probably correspond to the two genome segments of a single virus that belong to the group called Burna virus. Burna virus possesses two RNA segments for their genome by RNA, hence Burna virus. So we thought 
this was most likely the causative agent for summer atrophy. There is a Burna virus called Aqua Burna virus, which is known to cause diseases in various fish species. But the virus we found is dis different from Aqua Burna virus. In fact, the virus is distinct from any known Burna viruses. Because the Latin name of the pearl oyster is Pinctada fucata, we call the virus Pinctada Burna virus. We partially purified the virus and injected it to healthy pearl oysters. And the injected oysters indeed developed summer atrophy. When we examine the distribution of the virus in the tissues of experimentally infected pearl oysters, the virus was almost exclusively found in the outer epithelium of the mantle, though the virus was injected into the adductor muscle. This means the virus has strong affinity to the mantle epithelium. This explains the pathogenesis of summer atrophy. The infected mantle epithelium dies and the mantle detaches from the shell, causing the whole soft body to shrink towards the hinge of the shell. Interestingly, the virus genome contains a gene sequence that is very similar to a, a host gene expressed in the mantle epithelium. The host gene encodes a protein involved in the shell formation. The virus probably incorporated the gene from the infected cells somewhere during its evolution. Though we don't know if this gene is somehow involved in the pathogenesis of the disease, we developed specific PCR for the virus and tested aqua pearl oysters from various places. And the virus was detected only in the oysters from the areas that experienced summer atrophy. These evidences almost certainly indicate that Pinctada burna virus is the causative agent of the disease. Now we don't know where the virus came from, but the appearance of the disease was so sudden that the virus might have been introduced from abroad. Some pearl farming companies actively import pearl oysters from different countries to improve the quality of pearls. Also, farming companies frequently move pearl oysters between major farming regions. These practices are dangerous in terms of preventing the spread of diseases. The simultaneous appearance of summer atrophy in different pearl farming regions apparently reflects the active movement of pearl oysters, revealing the, the danger of such practices. The disease is still occurring, though the damage has been decreasing. And in order to prevent future outbreaks of emerging diseases, we hope pearl culture companies will learn a lesson from this disease.